There we go, Madam Mayor, take it away. Thank you. Well, good evening, everyone. I'm Mayor Val Vandenbroek, and I'd like to call the February 8th, 2021 public hearing to order and begin by acknowledging that the land on which we gather is the unceded territory of the Cape of Kwantlen, Maspi, and Semiamu First Nations. With me tonight, I have Councillor Paul Albrecht, Councillor Terry James, Councillor Gail Martin, Councillor Nathan Pahal, Councillor Rudy Stortaboom, and Councillor Rosemary Wallace. And for staff this evening, we have Francis Chung, our Chief Administrative Officer, Darren Light, our Director of Corporate Services, Carl Johansson, our Director of Development Services, Rick Baumhoff, our Director of Engineering Parks and Environment, Kelly Kenny, our Corporate Officer, and Scott Kennedy, our Acting Fire Chief. So I'll call to order. This public hearing is being convened pursuant to Section 464 of the Local Government Act in order to consider Bylaw 3144, Zoning Amendment Bylaw and Development Permit Number 06-20, a bylaw to rezone the properties located at 201-7253A Avenue from the RM1 Multiple Residential Low Density Zone to the RM3 Multiple Residential High Density Zone to accommodate a five-story 18-unit apartment development. I'd like to thank everyone for attending this public hearing, which is taking place by electronic means via Zoom. If we do encounter technical challenges during the meeting, please stand by, as we want to ensure everyone who wishes to speak is afforded the opportunity to do so. This public hearing is being live streamed on the city's YouTube channel and is also being recorded and will be posted to the city's website. If you are watching and wish to attend this electronic meeting, you can go to www.langleycity.ca to register and join the meeting. At this public hearing, those in attendance who believe that their interest in property is affected by the proposed bylaw will be allowed to make representations to council and shall be given a reasonable opportunity to be heard respecting matters contained in the bylaw. Once in the meeting, you may raise your use the raise hand function to indicate your wish to speak, which will automatically put you into the speaker's queue. You will be invited to speak in the order in which hands are raised. When it is your turn to speak, staff will prompt you with a message asking you to unmute your mic microphone and you may begin speaking. Please commence your, comment, uh, your comments to council by clearly stating your name and street address. Unit numbers are not required. Then you may give us the benefit of your views concerning the bylaw. Your name, address, and comments will form part of the record of this public hearing. Members of council may, if they wish, ask questions of you following your presentation. However, the main function of council members this evening is to listen to the views of the public. It is not the function of council at this public hearing to debate the merits of the proposed bylaw with individual citizens. Once you have completed your comments, staff will mute your microphone. Everyone shall be given a reasonable opportunity to be heard at this meeting. No one will be or should feel discouraged or prevented from making their views heard. I'm asking that you keep your comments to no more than five minutes to allow everyone who wishes to speak an opportunity to do so. Once everyone who wishes to speak has done so, I will call for speakers for a second time, at which time those who wish to speak again should in indicate so by using the raised hand function. I will then call for speakers for a third and final time. If there are no speakers, I will ask for a motion to close the public hearing. The public was also given the opportunity to provide written submissions for this public hearing. All submissions will be retained by the corporate officer and coffee, copies of the submissions will be available from her on request following the hearing and shall form part of the public record of these proceedings. Ms. Kenny, can you please advise how notification was provided for this public hearing and whether we have received any correspondence? Yes, Madam Mayor, a uh, notice pertaining to the bylaws was mailed to properties within 100 meters of the subject property. 
Newspaper advertisements were placed in the January 28th and February 4th editions of the Langley Advanced Times, and a notice was placed outside of the entrance to City Hall and on the city's website. And we received two pieces of correspondence from the public in relation to the bylaw, and they've been circulated to Council. Great. Thank you, Ms. Kenny. So the business tonight is bylaw 3144, a zoning amendment bylaw and development permit number 06-20. And I believe Mr. Johansson, you will be speaking to the proposed bylaw. Uh, yes, uh, thank you, Madam Mayor. Uh, can everyone hear me? Great. Uh, good evening, Mayor and Council, members of our audience. I'll just provide a brief overview before uh, the applicant uh, presents uh, their proposal. Uh, yes, it's a proposed rezoning and development permit application uh, for a five-story 18-unit uh, apartment uh, at this site. Uh, proposed site is a single parcel, which is too narrow for a typical apartment building and underground park A configuration. Uh, this context requires a unique building design that involves several variances, primarily to provide enough building width and length to support viable redevelopment of this site. While the constrained site presents a number of challenges in terms of accommodating an apartment building and making the most efficient use of land in this area of the city, which is designated in the current official community plan and the proposed uh, official community plan for apartment buildings, the applicant has worked with staff as well as received the support of the advisory design panel uh, in designing an attractive and unique building that fits onto the site, but also includes adequate building separation from the existing apartments to the south and the east, townhomes uh, to the north, to ensure the proposed development is a good neighbor in terms of its design. The applicants also work to incorporate the input of the design panel, including reconfiguring the underground parkade to add another accessible visit visitor parking space. Uh, and this helps to provide more convenient and weather protected access for building uh, to the building for visitors using accessible parking and it also reduces the visitor parking variance down to one space, bringing the overall rate uh, close to what we require now in our bylaw. And the residential parking variance of one space is also uh, close to what we require uh, in our bylaw and a little bit above but what we're contemplating in our new zoning bylaw, given the site's uh, location within 10 minutes of the future SkyTrain station and existing transit. So with that, Madam Mayor, I uh, completed my uh, brief intro. Thank you. Great, thank you. Uh, so I believe the applicant is here to speak to the proposed rezoning. Hi, um, this is architect Bajinder from Flat Architecture. Um, we are just going to thanks for giving us the opportunity to present this uh, project. Uh, I'm just going to start sharing my screen and then uh, we'll, I'll just start to uh, give a brief about the project. Thank you. Great. Thank you very much. Um, could you please confirm that anybody can, that you can, guys can see the screen so that I can actually start from there? We're not seeing your share screen yet, Mr. Warich. Okay. Okay. There we go. Okay. So uh, this, uh, this project is about the 18, um, 18 units and uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, the address is 2017253A uh, Avenue. Um, the existing zoning was at our RM3. So we are proposing a CD based on that. Um, the res it's uh, all the residential units. The main entrance is um, being located towards 53A Street si Avenue side. Um, there are total, as, um, as earlier mentioned, we went through the ADP and the project was upgraded based on the uh, ADP's comments. Um, one of the comment was adding the stall at the lower level, uh, which we did. Uh, right now you can see there are, uh, there are total 23 parking stall and two visitor stalls required and we do meet the zoning bylaw. The project site is landlocked. Um, 
because of the um, because there is already an existing development which is located on the south side and a new proposed uh, development just uh, uh, built actually in the last two years on the east side. Um, the project is located on the right on the intersection of 53A Avenue and 201A Street. Um, so this is a this is a main level. Uh, you can see actually um, the drawing number A 1.0 shows the grade level plan. The the site there is a there's existing uh, there's a road widening dedication which is being provided from 53A Avenue side. The main side access to the parkade is, is from the lane side, which exists on the east side of the property. And you can go from the lane side and right down to the ramp. Um, there is an existing one-story underground parkade. Um, there are two visitor stalls, which are located along the lane um, and, and easily accessible from the lane side. The pedestrian connection to the units um, uh, is, is located on the west side of the property, right around the intersection. This is an accessible, handicap accessible ramp, which is being provided for accessibility from the sidewalk, from the city sidewalk, and you can go actually along, along up and down, and then you can, you can access the main podium level, uh, which is also part of the amenity, which is being provided on the south side of the property. Um, the, bay, the way the building is located and the design is to actually have the units, all the building units along the 53A Avenue, Avenue sites and providing them more buffer between the existing property on the south side as well as in this building. There are two um, exit stairs uh, and the connections uh, which are on the both side of the property, the east side of the building and the west side of the building, the two vertical uh, connection which are showing in the pink color are being connected from top to bottom. The main entrance to the side 53 from the A Avenue, A Avenue side is right in the middle of the building. And uh, from the middle of the building, you can see there is an elevator and also a mail room uh, being located right in the middle of the lobby. There are four units at the grade level and they have a direct access uh, and a pedestrian connection to the sidewalk as per a, as per coordination with the city and going back and forth. That's, uh, that's how the connection is being provided to all these four units to the site and they have a private yards too. On the south side, um, we have an exit stair coming from the under from the park. Aid. We have a bike racks, um, which are located at the podium level as well as the amenity play area. There is a circulation space of five feet wide corridor, which is being connected to the east to west side. Um, these are typical floor plans. Um, the floor plans are showing uh, just the four units at every floor level. Um, they are um, the type and the type of the units. Uh, most of the units are two bedroom plus flex, uh, which are, you can see actually, this is a second floor plan, third and fourth floor plan. Um, the top floor plan, which is a fifth floor plan is we are providing two accessible units. Um, with the two accessible units, so only two units on the top, and they also have a bigger patios on the upper level. And also the lockers are being provided in the main lobby area for the accessibility. Uh, down below, you can see on the same drawing, we have a parkade, and the parkade is showing the elevator connection as well as, um, as, well as the accessibility, uh, accessible parking stalls around the both sides of the elevator, so for easier access. Um, this does show, uh, because of this, the, only the visitor stalls are already being provided at the main uh, lane level. So these are all for residential um, use only. So you can, um, coming from the top and you have a, a gate which is controlled by a fob and a security, and then this is all controlled by, uh, for the residents use only. Um, you can see the uh, elevations. Elevations, uh, uh, we work with the city and as well as the planner from the city. And, uh, and during the conversation with the ADP, um, the, we have provided the elevation. The ground floor level and the second floor level is being designed as, as with the material are being used uh, with, the, with the thinking of, um, so that it, they are more have a longevity of the material with the brick. They're also actually breaking the continuity of the five-story building. So we are breaking them actually two-story uh, with, the, with the brick. Uh, main entrance, you can see actually right in the middle of the building. 
where uh, we are showing the cedarwood post going two story high with the with the and we will go back in the three D view, which uh, which you can see in this case. Um, drawing A five point one clearly shows the, the kind of the entrance we are looking at, which is a pretty quite visible um, and and pretty large entrance to this uh, whole uh, apartment building. Uh, the upper two stories, uh, upper three stories, are again subdivided into two story with the with the frames, uh, bands, and with respect to the materials. Most of the material we are using are the brick um, and hardy board and cement-based hardy board and cement-based siding. Uh, this is based on the, um, the longevity of the material and, uh, and, and, and their effective, uh, uh, the material uh, uh, lifespan uh, because, of, because of the lifespan. Um, the main entrance is um, we'll have aluminum doors and the glazing above showing uh, this is a, this is just a view from on the south side um, because of our building we are designed as I mentioned uh, earlier the building is designed with respect to towards the 53A Avenue sides we have a more buffer on the back side so building is being pushed 53A side and this is a view which we have a ramp and ramp is covered with the trellis so that it's um, uh, from the top, it's covered with the trellis, wood trellis, and, and it's giving a little bit more landscape feature around the backside. Um, this, uh, the most of the material and the color scheme is, uh, is uh, the frames are in bold white color and, uh, and, the, and the horizontal siding is being used as the cement siding. Most, the ground floor plan, um, the ground floor level is, uh, the, one of the thing is that they're all, uh, because of the, the level and uh, and the grading, they're all raised by, uh, they're raised from the street level by one and 1.2 meter. And that's uh, that's how the steps are being provided, which are clearly visible in these, uh, in these renderings over here. Um, I think uh, that's, um, I think that's all I have on my, on our end. Uh, if you have any questions, please let us know. Thank you. Great, thank you so much for that presentation. Um, Ms. Kuzak, can you please advise if there's anyone in attendance electronically who wants to speak to this bylaw 3144? Uh, we have two people in attendance and I would um, ask them to use the raise hand function if you'd like to speak. It doesn't look like anybody wants to speak at okay, this point. So I'll call for a second time for speakers on bylaw 3144. And third and final time for speakers on 3144. If you'd like to speak to this bylaw, please raise use the raise hand function. It doesn't look like anyone wants to speak, thanks. Okay. So seeing no more speakers after a third and final time, um, do any members of council have any questions regarding bylaw 3144? Okay. All right, well, no questions. So I guess that is it. Thank you very much for the presentation. Thank you, thanks. Really. Thank you very much. Great. All right, so can I have a mover and seconder to close the public hearing, please? Councillor James, Councillor Wallace, um, all those in favor of closing the meeting. Uh, so the public hearing is now closed. This bylaw will come forward for consideration at a uh, third reading at a future council meeting. So thank you very much, everyone, for coming tonight. Have a wonderful night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Mayor.